I have in my hand a piece of paper. And this is something that most people in Japan should be getting, uh, but they're not really conscious of. This is my Nenkin Teikibin, which is the annual statement for the Nenkin pension here in Japan. And everyone who's paying into the pension should be getting one of these once a year around their birthday. Let's talk about what it is, what kind of information you can get out of this, and why it matters. Everyone living in Japan needs to be paying into the Japanese pension system. Normally that's Shakai Hogen through your employer, or if your employer doesn't enroll you or you're freelance or self-employed, you'd be paying into Kokumi and Nenki instead. Regardless of which pension you're paying into, you'll be able to check your pension contributions and other information online at the Nenkinet website. You do need to register, uh, but once you've done that, it's quite easy. You can log in and see all your contributions and also look at some projections of what kind of payouts you might expect in the future. You have the option of choosing not to receive a paper Nenkin Teikibin, but instead just to get everything online. Now, I prefer to get the paper. I find it easier to keep track and it's, it's actually fairly easy to read this little postcard thing. So let's take a look at what a Nenkin Teikibin looks like. So it's one of these kind of Japanese style postcards that folds out, actually folds out into three pieces. I removed the third piece because it wasn't very useful. Uh, and they seem to have updated it this year. So on the front, we can see the following information. So right on the left-hand side, you've got a category that says uh, contributions so far as of last year. And that will give you your projected Nenkin based on how much you've paid in so far. The next column is your projected Nenkin based on contributions this year. So hopefully it's gone up since last year. Mine has gone up quite a lot. It's gone up by about 90,000 yen a year, which is very encouraging. Uh, and then the last two columns are telling you that if you take your Nenkin from 65, you'll get 100% of the projected payout. But if you choose to delay your Nenkin to 70 or 75, the amount of Nenkin you can claim will increase. Uh, and the maximum is plus 84% if you delay it by 10 years uh, in the current system. Now, if we look inside the Nenkin Teikibin, we've got a few more items of information. So you can see how much you've contributed so far, uh, and that is Kokumin Nenkin, and then if you paid into Kosei Nenkin at all through your employer, uh, and so on. My contributions so far over the last 23 years are just over 10 million yen. Now this does include the employer contribution as well. The next really important category is how many months you've paid in. Now the Japanese pension system works on months. You have to pay in for 120 months to qualify for a pension at all. And the maximum pension would be paid after you've paid in for 480 months. I've paid in 297 months so far, and I've got either 15 or 20 years left to pay, depending on whether I choose to continue paying after 60, or if I'm still employed after 60. And the last category is probably the most important, and this is your pension projection. So based on contributions so far, I would be getting just over 1.1 million yen per year in Nenkin when I retire, if I retired at the age of 65. Now, the way this is shown on the Nenkin Teikibin is different depending on whether you're over 55 or under 55. When you hit 55, they start changing this number and how it's calculated. So before the age of 55, you get this kore made, which is based on contributions so far, this is how much you'll get. Once you get to the age of 55, it changes to this is what you'll get, assuming that you continue to contribute at the current level. So do check the wording on this because it makes a difference. We've got a bunch of blog posts on the Retired Japan site that go into this in a bit more detail and explain the numbers a bit more. But how about you? Have you been getting your Nenkin Teikibin? One thing I would recommend is that if you're not getting a Nenkin Teikibin, then it's definitely worth looking into because the pension service has been known to make mistakes in the past and I would personally go to Nenkin Net, make an account, check that your contributions are okay and then if you want to, you can choose to receive paper statements uh, and then they'll come once a year around your birthday. I usually get mine uh, a couple of weeks before my birthday.
So if you found this useful, please do subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.